My presentation will be about prepectoral reconstruction and radiation therapy. I would like to dwell on new techniques and new opportunities uh, for us, which came along with new implants and new materials. Uh, as far back as 1971, uh, there were prepectoral implants with polyurethane, uh, and uh, we are fully aware that the history is moving along the spiral, and from now, every now and then, we keep getting back to the older times. Uh, there are major questions for discussion. When and when uh, do we do this instant uh, immediate breast reconstruction, which are the best implants, and where the radiation therapy impacts the result. When do we opt for IBR, immediate breast reconstruction? There are lots of indications for immediate breast reconstruction. And we can see that the indications for IBR after mastectomy in patients with uh, breast cancer are also after a subpectoral um, prosthetic, uh, there could be criteria. Patients with uh, um, good uh, subcutaneous uh, abilities, non smoker patients, uh, and good blood circulations in post um patches and without concomitant pathologies. Which advantages for prepectoral construction do we have here? Is the absence of lesions uh, when we do not cross pectoralis major. It's minimization of algesic syndrome, reduction of time in hospital, and the absence of animation or deformation. That's why we opt for prepectoral space for reconstruction. Very important criterion in our clinical practice is also uh, the availability of good fatty and adipose tissue. Another article about pros and cons of different types of reconstruction and IBR and breast reconstruction. Uh, uh, it was uh, uh, discussed what was better, immediate autologous uh, or delayed autologous reconstruction, immediate implant expander implant or uh, implant and explant or two-stage reconstruction. Which are the advantages of IBR? Uh, it's a shorter rehabilitation period, better aesthetic effect in absence of adjuvant radiation therapy, and it's done in one surgical intervention. Another important issue for us is what cover of implant should there be? Is it necessary for us to have extra cover for an implant if we insert it prepectorally? As far back as 1978, for the first time, a study was published covering 89 patients, and then prepectorally endoprosthetics were inserted, and the authors identified the drastic increase of complications within first year after surgery, capsular contracture, and also loss of implant. There was one study dedicated to retrospective overview of patients with prepectoral implants, uh, and then they were covered by a cellular dermal matrix. Uh, this publication also indicated large uh, the morbidities, uh, seromas, and necrosis of skin uh, patches. Another article was dedicated to pectoral reconstruction and broadly discussed the issue as whether it's necessary to have extra coverage of prepectorally inserted material uh, implant and which materials did we use? Do we have have to support uh, soft tissues or not. 107 patients with saline implants without a cellular dermal matrix where the extrusion frequency was 6%, 6%, capsular contractures about 21%, uh, and 155% of uh, patients uh, 
with uh, skin, uh, sparing skin and liquid uh, uh, without uh, the dermal matrix, whereby the frequency of extrusion was about 7% and capsular contractures about 8% as complications. These trials show the problem of capsular contracture despite the expediency of these prepactoral establishment uh, uh, without extra cover of material. So which pros and cons do we see in implants with different covers? Polyurethane implant means stability, less ptosis after polyuterine, uh, polyuterine uh, is dissolved, the reduction of polycapsule contractor, but there are higher risks of infections. Textured cover, it for, forms natural ptosis uh, or milk gland. Most, uh, the best methodology is a ptosis of contralateral milk gland and the risk of seroma in 10% uh, and capsular contracture and rotation of implant is increased, but the risks of infections of endoprosthetics are lower. So we have to think whether we need this textural cover to be extra covered by such materials. A major question. Uh, we wanted to discuss today whether the radiation therapy impacts the results. As the previous speaker says, of course, radiation therapy drastically impacts the aesthetic results, irrespective of the type of the implant, whether it's done prepectorally or under large pa major pectoralis. Aesthetic results in all these studies are better at immediate breast reconstruction. That was the analysis of 62 articles, and all the authors were apt to think that radiation therapy versus the results of immediate breast reconstruction, irrespective of whether it's a prepectoral installation or under major pectoralis. As to the NCN guidelines on radiation therapy, it's not possible to have a 100% prediction as whether all the patients will have to undergo the radiation therapy. But there are some cases when radiation therapy under pathophormological finds is indicated for those patients for which we didn't envisage new adjuvant radiation therapy. So radiation therapy could be added up in the adjunct one with uh, two patients with primary operable uh, breast cancer. So it included into plan of treatment. Uh, of course, it's mastectomy or a biopsy of sentinel lymph node and potential reconstruction in absence of involvement of regional collector and tumor node less than five centimeters and, and the margin less than one millimeter. The radiation therapy is not recommended. And when uh, there are involvements of regional collector and high risk factor for local relapse and close of medial central position of the node and the tumor in this size than more than five centimeter vascular invasions in young age show that it's possible to have adjuvant radiation therapy subsequently irrespective of the type of reconstruction. Similar guidelines are existing in Russian uh, Federation recommendations of 2000. A 19 and uh, health care ministry guidelines as well as to when and how to conduct radiation therapy in primary uh, operable breast uh, cancer. That's how we do contouring at uh, pectoral installation of the implant. On the left-hand side, you can see contouring and uh, the volume of 3D reconstruction of the frontal projection in patients uh, in whom uh, there, the implants are installed prepectorally. Uh, so there are parasternal uh, leaf uh, lymph nodes included as well. The technique is uh, 
uh, broadly uh, known uh, is the untraditional fossil removal of milk gland. We retain the skin envelopes and we should assess using ICG or special techniques. We can see whether there is a good blood circulation in the flap. If you cannot do that uh, yet, if you do the surgery in the right way and you preserve the vessels, you will avoid um, the patch necrosis. Uh, Perpectorally, you install the implant. Most often, we use PU polyurethane implants. And a modest experience of our site, and over three years, we installed 345 implant in prepectoral reconstruction. It was immediate breast reconstruction after breast removal, and we came to certain cons conclusions. Despite the fact that sometimes we plan radiation therapy, we prefer immediate breast reconstruction. I kept asking our radiologists, what's easier for them to radiate, um, uh, expander? or implant, uh, they say uh, that expander radiation is a larger problem vis-a-vis -vis the implant. Uh, but surgeons uh, don't have only one opinion here. Some say that two stages are better than one. After the installment of expander, uh, we can use a radiation, and after in the irradiation, we'll remove all the Defects, but in our practice, having conducted this study, we came to a conclusion that here we can uh, can do, do see two things. First of all, a static result of immediate breast reconstruction is more preferable vis-à-vis -vis two stage reconstruction. We can uh, retain vascular complex and skin envelope as well. We don't have to reconstruct it at the stage two. We can do it at one. Go. We can retain all those anatomic structures within one stage, whereas two stage reconstruction, of course, requires uh, next actions. And irrespective of whether radiation therapy to be conducted in all those groups, you can see those results in a group with implants with extra cover of the installation under a uh, major pectoral muscle, then there's cover of bimeshal or solidarma matrix. We obtain 30% of complications in this group, major group here. It was prepectoral installation of implant, uh, polyurethane implants most often, and subsequent radiation therapy. In that group, it was 27% of complications, which made us think that into those groups, the percentage of uh, the rate of complications was almost the same, but the advantages of immediate breast reconstruction were higher. Several results of our surgeries, a patient was removed uh, uh, breasts and subcutaneous mastectomy from both sides and prophylaxis mastectomy from the other side because of the mutations in the gene. Uh, one uh, just two months after the uh, surgery and one year after the uh, surgery. And another patient, uh, 30 seconds to go, you can see a textured implant. Uh, and uh, prepectorally, uh, you don't have any more time. So uh, this patient, uh, six months after surgery and one month after adjuvant polychemotherapy and in the process of radiation therapy, and here are the results, which are quite satisfactory for us and make patient happy. We should have long-term results, of course. Uh, there could be contractures, capsular uh, contractures later on, uh, and uh, subsequently, this type of reconstruction will be also developing. In conclusion, we can see that immediate breast reconstruction is more preferable despite potential complications after radiation therapy, implementation into practice of prepectoral reconstruction after subcutaneous skin um, conserving mastectomy with or without radiation therapy will improve the life quality and using endoproteins with polyurethane will reconstruct construct milk like, uh, glands at new technical level.